What's going on you guys? It's the 9th of April 2024 and I just want to show you guys how much snow remains in town after our last winter storm and unfortunately a lot of it's already melted. It's 55 degrees today. It's going to be even warmer tomorrow um, but we're going to head over to Grout Creek Tributary. I just want you guys to get a quick look at what's going on through the village, how little snow there is anywhere around here. And then, yeah, we're going to go over to the tributary to check out the waterfall. So we're not going to make it a super crazy long video. I'm just going to record going through the village. You guys can see. And then, as I said, uh, we'll pick up recording over by the tributary. Yeah, I mean, seriously, there's just nothing through here. Oh, well, obviously there's those little patches and stuff like that, but that's in like some very shady areas. Don't, don't get a lot of sun. That'll be gone by tomorrow, I'm certain. Because again, we, we could hit like 62 or 63 degrees tomorrow. It's just craziness, craziness. Actually, it's not that crazy because we are, you know, if, three weeks into spring almost. Maybe it is three weeks. Pretty, pretty darn close. Turn it back on periodically as we get closer towards the uh, tributary, okay guys? But for right now, yeah, just pretty sad how this area just got about a foot of snow and it's, it's already gone just a few days ago. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. They're still offering sledding up there. Doesn't look like it's fun, but it's better than no sledding. Be right back with you. Yeah. Just nothing. Of course, along the hillside right there, along the mountain, you're going to get a little bit more. But yeah, I'll keep updating you guys. See you in a minute. Boulder Bay Park. I mean, it's always a beautiful place, but very little if to no snow at all. Hardly any. Of course, we got some more on the left-hand side here, but yeah, this is pretty typical as we're entering the snowiest part of town, but yeah. Okay, we're entering the snowiest part of the valley as we get closer to the Big Bear Dam, so we're just going to keep the video rolling from here to the dam so you guys can, uh, can see. They got a little bit more than a foot over here, this most recent storm that ended two and a half days ago but it keeps accumulating on these hillsides here because they don't get a lot of 
or as much snow melt as the rest of us do because there's not a lot of direct sunlight over here. But yeah, the roads are in great, great condition to drive, you guys. Like, no problems at all. You guys will be stoked. Got some pretty good potholes on this in this area over here so please be careful guys when you're coming into town Again, guys, roads are perfect. You guys will have no issues getting up and down the mountain. I'm gonna assume any route you take, you'll be good. For a second, one of the best lake views. We can't not capture that right there. We're almost to the tributary, and it appears our lake is just below five feet from being full. So that's the most I've seen since maybe I've lived here. side on the left here as we're coming into fawn skin there's a lot of dry patches again this side over here where you're seeing all this snow they don't get a lot of direct sunlight so hence a lot of the snow does not melt as fast as it does elsewhere gonna park right here it is flowing pretty good it's 
beautiful. I'm gonna walk down to the bottom here. Oh yeah. We're actually gonna walk on top of the waterfall real quick. Usually there's a ton of snow right here. This is great though. Look at all this water coming through. Gotta be careful because it is a bit slick here. Boy, that's peaceful. All this is flowing out there to the lake. Keep it coming, baby, keep it coming. All right, now that that person's gone, we're gonna go over to the front side and get a nice view of the front. That is beautiful though. Really pretty, isn't it? Keep on coming, water. Keep on coming. As far as I'm concerned, this is the most beautiful tributary in all of Big Bear. All this water is coming from the hills above Fonskin here. All right, cool. Just wanted to give you guys a short little look at what's going on at our 
my favorite tributary, Grout Creek. All right, let's head back. I might film a little bit more from this point on, going back to where we came from, just so you guys can see the lack of snow. So let's do it. Look at these piles of snow though, my gosh. Okay, we just left the tributary and we're heading back to Big Bear Lake. With a beautiful view of San Gorgonio right here. Look at all that, all those snow-capped mountains up there. Just look incredible. I still wish that's what we looked like down here, but it is what it is, right? Driving through Fawnskin, this is usually a pretty snowy part of town. As you can see, there's hardly anything left. You guys need to get up here. Go skiing and snowboarding quickly because these resorts will be closed in probably, I would think in like a week at, at best. I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't see how they're gonna stay open. You can always go on to Google and check it out. We had a ski resort up there. Apparently, many years ago, Walt Disney was part of something that they were considering building a world class ski resort up there. That kind of blew my mind a bit. I know Walt was a big fan of this area. Saturday. It's Wednesday today. This little chance of snow is, is very minimal. It's not going to bring much at all other than I'll get to record some snowflakes, which always makes me happy.
nice if, if this was like midsummer type of views where our elevation is so high, you'll still get snow at the top of the peaks and stuff like that. And everything is so green. Stanfield cutoff that's gonna be it I just want to show you guys what the snowiest part of the valley looks like right now not that snowy Big Bear Lake for the bigger portion is the snowiest part of our valley Big Bear City and that direction get a lot significantly less amounts of snow but uh, we already drove through the snowiest part which is over by the dam but if you want to consider the whole valley then we are all on this side, the Big Bear Lake side, we're all part of the snowier part of this area. That's the snowier part of town. And that is the least snowy part of town. And it really is a dramatic difference, typically. It's so good seeing this much water in the lake. Oh gosh, it's great. If we could just get a couple more good storms, man, that would be wonderful. But anyway, guys, thanks again for everything. Thanks for cruising. Did a little tributary, a little bit of showing you guys how much snow's left through most of the town. It is quite a bummer, but it is what it is. Talk to you guys soon. It's April 9th, 2024. An absolutely beautiful Big Bear Lake.